thought it was over, they thought I was finished, dawg Whole city jump behind me, now I get more racks than a tennis ball And you know ain't no looking back, the streets brought the hustle out of me I was sick of eating part of me, ramen noodles all through the week The struggle was ugly, made something out of me So made Chevy boy, man, we out here, man Yeah, we finna go ahead and Like I said, we finna go ahead, man, and get this Get this toolbox put on this small one it's uh it's 10 o'clock so this shouldn't take long though i'm gonna try to document everything i'm out here recording by myself and stuff so i'm gonna use my tripod as much as i can and we're gonna get it done man just screwing just the hard part is gonna be drilling the four holes in the actual uh in the bar in the beam on the on the trailer in the tongue of the trailer hold on i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about hold on one second yeah see right here the actual hard part is gonna be drilling the hole in here. I just did a little, like a little sample with the uh, drill bit. It's a Milwaukee half inch hard metal drill bit, man. Dude said it's supposed to uh, get the job done. So got that joint. And uh, I'm just gonna put the toolbox on there and then just, uh, just mark it in the inside of the toolbox. Therefore, I can take the toolbox off, go ahead and drill the holes in. Then once I sit it back down, the holes will be already lined up with the bar. Then I just drill straight through the bar, get it started in every spot. Then I'll take the toolbox back off and then go ahead and drill the holes out, man. Sit it on there and bolt it down. Should be pretty easy, man. Do it yourself. All right. show y'all what I what I just did so I just made four four indentions right we got one right here one right there and the same on the other side I started the indentions we got one right there and one right here so what I'm about to do now I'm just gonna take the box up sit it up on top of this rail right here and go ahead and drill those out drill them out real good and then I'm gonna sit the box back down on the on the uh, trailer, and so the holes will be in the in the box then, right? So I'll see exactly where I need to drill it in. I can start the indention on the trailer itself. Once I start the indention on the trailer, then I'm gonna put the uh put the drill to work, man. We're gonna go ahead and drill them holes out. So I think that's gonna be a nice addition, man, to the trailer. Gonna be a nice addition right there, man. Yep. Only thing I hate is when I put my tongue box and my spare tire on there, I can't just pick this up no more. Can't just pick it up no more. But anyway, it is what it is. I need this and I need my spare tire on there, man. Cause I be just be throwing my spare tire in the back of the truck when I already got a mount. I ain't gonna do much, just put it on here. So this is my do it do it yourself project for the day, man. So they shave it, boy. Keep it locked, man. All right. All right, all right, all right. This is what we got. This is what we got. So drill the holes in. Now see it? Drill the holes on both sides. Now we're about to, uh, hold on. Drill the holes on both sides. There go the other one right there. So I'm gonna make sure the hardware fits now. Make sure the hardware fits. So like I said, I'm gonna put uh put the washer on from the top. I'm gonna put the washer on from the top. Double, I'm gonna uh, put some Loctite on it. And I'm gonna double, I'm gonna double nut it at the bottom with the lock washer too. See, this the uh this the uh, Loctite I got. Thread lock of the blue. It's removable, it's removable, see. You don't wanna put the red on there. So just make sure. Where it does fit. All right. All right. So all I gotta do now, put 
this jump back on there, line it up, and make the indentions in the trailer. So, back to the time levels, baby. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. See, I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the actual bolt, bolt through with the big washer. Only thing I hate, it ain't gonna be able to go all the way through. It ain't gonna make the hole too big, but it ain't gonna be able to go all the way through because see, it's not flat. It got the little square top on it. But that's cool. We ain't gonna be doing nothing that heavy duty. Then I'm gonna run the, I'm gonna run the washer. I'm gonna run the lock washer under the bottom. I'm gonna run that under the bottom first. Run that under there, and then put the two. Put the two, uh, put the put the two nuts on there, on each one of them, man. There's four of them, and that's gonna hold it down. It ain't like we finna be doing nothing heavy duty or, or strenuous, we're gonna be pulling on it or nothing like that. So that's all I need, man. Seven eight seven boy, keep it locked, man. All right. All right. Now y'all see where the hole is? That's the actual trailer showing in the hole right there. So, I'm just gonna make an indention in each one of them. Let me show y'all. I'm gonna try to do it, do it while I got y'all on here. See, I got it, got it sitting where I wanted it, so. See what I'm saying? See how it has, let me show you. See how I got that indention now? Everything gonna line up, man. Like I was telling y'all, man, it's certain stuff out there. Certain stuff I will do myself, bro. You know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Moved it a little bit. Hold on. Let me line it back up. All right, there it is. Make sure we lined up. All right, them holes lined up. So I keep this in place. Now we do this. So now, let's take the box off, and I can show y'all. Hold on, I'm trying to do everything in one hand, y'all. So I'm gonna clean them shavings out of there too, before I bolt it all the way down. Now, see? Indention, 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 indention. So, man, once I, I drill that down, man. Drill them holes out. It's gonna be a little work. I'm gonna do one, let the drill bit cool off, do the other one. You know what I'm saying? Good little Milwaukee drill. Uh, good little Milwaukee drill, man. Got it on two. Got it all the way turned up. So, we're gonna see what we got. Got juice. I got half. I got half a battery. So, let's get it, man. 78 Chevy Boy. All right. Yeah, man. If you haven't subscribed, man, make sure you drop down right now and so hit the hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on man turn the notification bell on all so you can get all the notifications man whenever i drop some a, a picture a post a, a, a poll story uh go live whatever man make sure you turn your notification bell on so you won't miss that man seven eight seven what let's get it man all right Went through like butter, man. Money went through like butter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, we finna be through in a minute. In a minute. Finna gonna swap the battery out because that one on one bar now. It was only on two when I started. So, 
we're gonna go and put a fresh battery in put that one on charger and then we're gonna do the other holes man yes sir i got another big battery in here on one of my other drills i gotta go get some for these flies man it's like it's like i open the garage and there's plenty of flies in here bro i don't know if y'all can see them y'all see them flying around hold on let me zoom in a little bit I know y'all can see them, man. I'm finna go to uh, go to Home Depot, man. You know the weather changing, getting hot, so I'm gonna go to Home Depot buy some of those flat traps, man. The little junks you hang, you hang them, put the water in it, and you hang them, and uh, and the flies go in the bag and they can't get out. But it's plenty of them in here, man. Then they small fly. I believe they hatched some in here or something, man. They had to. They had to hatch some of them joints in here. But uh, but yeah, hold on. We're gonna use this big 5.0. We're gonna use this big 5.0 on that joint. How much juice we got, baby? We got we got a full house. Hold on, hold on, y'all. All right, put that one bike. Put that one bike. Take this one off. That's a 2.0, this a 5.0. 5.0. So it'll last a little longer. Alright. Now, put the 2.0 on charge. It's on charge. See the red light? Red light right there. Alright. We ready. We ready, man. Alright, so we finna go ahead and do that one. So let me set the camera up. We'll be right back, baby. Yeah, man. Clean cut, clean cut. Now we're about to put the uh put the box on here, make sure everything line up. Hold on, let's try to do that. I'm gonna try to do that with one hand. Hold on, y'all. Perfect lineup, bro. Look like a perfect lineup, bro. You can see the ground. Like a perfect lineup, bro. We can see the ground. See it? We can see the ground, baby. Yep. So let me go ahead and put these in here and do it like that, man. Yep. We're going to be bolted up in a minute. So I'm finna thread each. Uh, each bolt with the thread lock. Shouldn't have to put it on the whole bolt, but we finna see though. Lay everything out. Hold on, let me put my put my camera up here. Hold on. All right. So. Thread lock with looking at the how long this is. So I, I'll probably just put thread like like up in the middle right here, up in the middle. Cause by the time we put it through the box, through the rail, and we're gonna have that lock washer on it. Yeah. Lay everything out, man. So everything's out in the open. What y'all know about that, man? Everything's out in the open. Drop down in the comments, man. Let me know if you're learning something today, man. <laughs> y'all know I don't know a whole lot, man, but but I will 
tell what I do know. I ain't holding no back, nothing back, man. Shout out to the homies that helped me along the way, man. That gave me some knowledge. Shout out to the homies, man. Big shout out to Real Too Real and and Jay Malcolm, man. That's who that's who kept me grounded, man. Kept me in the game, man. Kept me in the YouTube game for real, man. So put this little thread lock on here, man. You know, see, you don't have to put a whole lot on there because once you put it on, just rub it around with your fingers. Just rub it around. Just need a little bit on there. Yep. We're going to do each boat like that. So you use this stuff. When you're in that RC world, you'll know this will become your best friend, man. If them little cars be vibrating so much, it'll vibrate them screws up out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a big bottle of this, man. This is just a little tube. They actually sell the big bottles of it. I gotta go ahead and buy some of that. I gotta go to Home Depot anyway. Let me put that on my list. I'm on the phone, I can't do it right now, but put that on my list when I go by these fly traps, man. By these fly traps, and then I'm gonna do, go get my brake, the rest of my brake lines and stuff for uh, Cayenne, man. I'm gonna go out there and get the rest of that stuff. But yeah, we finna see what we got, man. And of course, I ain't gonna be able to go up under the trailer and show you every, every screw I'm putting in, but uh, just know I'm finna put it in, man. 78 Chevy boy. Keep it locked, man. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna even lie, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead. I got all of them in there, but I don't like the boats I bought. I bought the wrong boats. I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. Cause they not gonna get flat, like go all the way down and just you know what I'm saying like the right ones to me. So I'm gonna go get some more half inch boats without, without this little square part on there. See that little part right there? I'm gonna go get some without that. Hold on, let me make these giant folks. Uh, see? Well, it's not folks, and there you go. I'm gonna go and get the uh, the ones that's flat under the bottom. That'll go, go straight down, and maybe got a nut. The nut uh, head on the top, I think that's what I'm gonna do, the ones with the nut head. So, I gotta go to Home Depot anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it, get my fly traps, get me some more thread locker, and get some more boats, man. I'm gonna take this one with me. 78 Chevy Boy. Y'all keep it locked, man. YouTube, YouTube, we back, baby. Yeah, and like I said, uh, I changed them boats out, man. We done went down there. I was on the, on the phone with my homeboy, Corey, man, so I didn't do any recording when I went and picked them out, but I'm gonna show y'all what I went and got. So, instead of these joints right here, you see how it's made under there? I went ahead and got the joint with the nut on the top, man. So, and it's flat on the bottom. So you just shoot them through, same way, with the wash. Hold on. I hope the washer head ain't too big. The washer hole ain't too big. No, I ain't too big. Kinda, sorta is. I should have, I'm gonna look over there in my drawer. I might have some more washer that can go on top of that too. But I'm definitely rolling with these. We're gonna roll with these joints. And uh put them on. Gonna, uh put this lock tight on them because I done burnt a lot of time, man. I done burnt a lot of time. So it's like 12:30 now. So I'm gonna put the lock tight on them. Gonna put them on, bolt them down, and then uh let me show y'all this while I'm already out. The fly traps. Cause these fly boys, these mug them disrespectful out here. So it's the fly trap right here. I don't know if y'all know anything about that. Yep. You just cut the top, then you put the water in it, and then you hang that junk. You cut the top of it, the plastic, and then you pull this part right here out. Pull that out, put water in it, fill it up to the line right there, and then uh, and then just hang it. I got one right there. I got one over there, hanging from the uh, garage thing. Try to catch these ones in here. Now, it stink now. It stinks, smell like some sardines. But they're gonna get them flies. They ain't start going in there yet. But that little 
that little stuff you see see it'd be a little packet in there and it's activating it's like food it's like food for them so once they crawl down in there they can't get back out once they crawl in there so that's the deal with that my ain't boss lady gonna get on me look at her truck man it's not dusty as a mother okay Ooh, that's done cutting up, boy. I might take that one out of the garage. That mother gonna have cayenne stinking. Yeah, man. But let me look for these washers. I know I got some washers that'll fit that joint. I know I got some. Uh oh. I know I got some washers somewhere, man. That'll fit that joint. Check my big, check my uh, big toolbox over here. Check my big toolbox. Cause I keep washers and stuff like that. So it should be easy to find. Find four of them in here. So this stuff all in the bottom. I'm gonna find them right quick, man. YouTube, we'll be back, baby. Cause uh, I got my, like I told you, I got my brake kit. Got my uh, proportional valve. Shout out to uh, Marquit, man. He be telling me everything I need. And then I just got the uh, the master cylinder. That's the new master cylinder right there from an old one Tahoe, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna run over here and get the lines for it. Dude gonna give me the adapters, adapters I need to run the lines to the new master cylinder, man. So I'm trying to have everything I need when it's time to do my uh put my rims on whoever short my rear end and put my disc brakes on the back they're gonna also add my uh the proportional valve and the master cylinder whoever i get i'm gonna get them to do all that work man so uh y'all keep a lot man seven eight we also gonna ride we're gonna jump in cayenne and ride over there so uh, we'll be back all right let me go ahead and bolt this thing down all right got it squared away man got it squared away was popping man so i still forgot to uh get the shavings out of here i did all that talking but what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna bring my vac out here bring my vac out here and just get it all out man got me a little shot vac so i think that's a new that's a good addition to the trailer man yes sir that's a good addition to the trailer so now we're gonna jump in cayenne man and head out here and get these lines that I need for the master cylinder. 787 boy. Man, y'all keep it locked, man. Drop down in the comments, man. Tell me what y'all think about my, my little toolbox on my joint, man. Tell me what y'all think about it. Take a couple pictures. Take a couple pictures. I ain't put the uh, spare tie hold on there yet. I'm going to go ahead and jump out here put this, and uh, get these lines before all the uh, rush hour traffic comes. It's like 2 o'clock now. Well, it's one thirty. Go on, get it, get that out the way, cause it's on the other side of town, and uh, beat that rush hour traffic. Come back, man. I might go on and throw that uh, the uh, spare tie holder on here. But yeah, it's sturdy, man. It ain't going nowhere. No slack. No, uh oh, no slack. Speaker fail. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy one for the big trailer. And like I was saying, see this so big. That I'm gonna have to get Migo them to put me like a plate. Weld me a plate right there. Once he weld that plate right there, I'll be able to put the uh put the uh toolbox on there and I'll just screw it down itself. I put it down itself to the uh to the actual plate. And I can just do it like that, man. Save me some money. I won't have to pay him for the for the plate, for the plate and the and the uh and welding the box down. I can just put the box down with the screws, man, with the bolts. So, 78 Chevy boy, man. Y'all keep it locked. All right. Y'all already know, man. I ain't got my boots on. But I keep them with me. 
I'm finna jump in Cayenne. I'm gonna throw them joints on back of the truck, man. Cause I might end up going down to Memphis Mike number or something. Might end up going down there. So we definitely gonna uh take them crocs off we're gonna go down there i think i'm gonna throw my black crocs on but got them jumps with me man just in case you never know what might jump off keep it locked y'all already know what we do about this time prepare for takeoff man this gonna need charging too set up put on so i got everything i got my back disc brake kit i got my uh and they and they are slotted and drill rotors so the front i'm gonna order some slotted and drill rotors for the front that's all i'm gonna do to the front let's put the rotors on there and then and then i'm gonna uh i'm gonna definitely uh I got my proportional valve, Willwood proportional valve. Then I got my uh, master cylinder. Now all I'm lacking is these lines that I know of. My boy quit telling me everything I need for the uh, for the kit. And I think I'm pretty much squared away once I get these lines and get my rotors. So to make sure my rotors match, I'm just gonna order my rotor, my front rotors from the same place that I ordered the back kit from. So I should be able to just throw them rotors on there, man, and, and paint all my calipers red. We in there like booty hair, baby. We in there, man. So uh, let me turn this camera around, man, so y'all can see my view. All right? Beautiful day, too, man. Beautiful day to be out here riding. We coasting, doing about 80. Doing about 80, running at two and a half, two and a half grand on the RPM. So going out here, I'll be getting off on Covenant Pike. I keep forgetting the uh, the exact the exact name for the place we're going to. But my boy said they very knowledgeable. Hold on, this is my boy Nick Lee calling me, man. Boy, Nick Lee, I'll be right back, y'all. Seven eight, man. We up here at uh, High Performance, J and J High Performance. Oh, we on Elmore Road, man. You know they be making the uh, the lines, all kind of different lines and fitness and stuff you need, man. They said they even got nitrous refills here. So uh, my boy told me about this place, so I'm gonna go check it out. Make sure I get the right stuff I need for, to put this master master cylinder on, man. So, all right, check it out. I don't know if he's gonna let me record or not, but we'll see in a minute. All right. Yeah, man, we in here at uh, J and J Performance, man. They get me squared away. I got the permission from the young lady. She told me I can record all I want when I come in here. But what I'm getting, y'all, uh, is these lines right here. I got the fitments I need on the end of them and everything, man. These gonna run down to my proportional valve, and this blocks off one of the uh, one of the ports in the proportional valve, and uh, and that's pretty much that's pretty much all I need from them, man. Order these uh, drill slotted uh, slotted and drill rotors, 
and we're gonna be all set up. Yep. So, uh, man, if y'all need any kind of lines, like, what all type of lines do y'all do? Like, what all what all do you do here so I can let them know? type of hydraulic okay anything about brakes any any hydraulic uh plumbing she said uh and i see they got signs all up they do nitrous refills here they do that uh injector cleaning all right y'all got a whole list better keep it coming keep it coming know, you right? steady name and stuff <laughs> that's okay though it, it, it won't be my last time here i like y'all welcome me right in and allow me to video and everything so uh, I know it won't be my last time here. Awesome. Yep, yep. That's what we need, boy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Y'all can't highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. So, uh, just the information right here, y'all. J&J Performance, 5251 Elmwood Road, 901-382-7404. Yep. I'm going to take one of these with me. Okay. You too, you too. Seven eight, man. We're gonna head on in, baby. Uh when I dealt to the break plays and I holler at Jazz. Jazz didn't have a whole lot going on, that's why I didn't record out there. Then I just stopped down here, uh holler at Memphis Mike, but he gone. He told me he was gonna be at the shop, but he was gone. So I holler at Tear and them. And uh man, I'm about to head on in, man. Baby cooking tacos tonight, man. Homemade tacos. I might show y'all them junks once I fix that plate, man. Tell y'all, you know, that taco truck good. But, but baby, man, boss lady junks ain't playing either, man. So uh, I might show y'all them junks before I sign out, man. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show y'all them junks before I sign out. Y'all keep it locked, man. Same day, Chevy Boy. Taco Tuesday, man. Taco Tuesday. All right. All this taco Tuesday, I was gonna sign out when I show you all these tacos, man. The only thing I'm missing is uh, I'm gonna put a little hot sauce on mine. But we got ground turkey, we got spinach, tomato, onion, cheese, a little sour cream. I'm gonna dash a little uh, dash a little bit of that hot sauce on here, man. Taco Tuesday, what's up, bro? I thought you said you were gonna go there. All right, y'all. Stay humble, stay prayed up, stay out of the way, man. All right. Chevy, Chevy boy, man. Show y'all my bro. Uh, this the this the uh, LS four sixty, man. Y'all know if I said if I ever get rid of the L dog, man, I'm gonna get one of these. He just bolted up, man. Twenty two inch Lex Sunnies, man. Looking real good. Looking real good, man. Real classy, man. We talked about these car, talked about these car, man. He went on and snatched them one, man. And he said it ride better on the wheels, man. On the 22. What you had? 20s on there first. Your factory was 20. 19. 19. Yeah. He said these 22s ride better than his 19s ride, man. The factories. What he gonna do now? He say he gonna uh he gonna tint the windows. Even you tint the windshield too? Yeah, windshield now. Okay, we're going we're going to tint all the way around. Then he say he gonna put the back. It's a spoiler that go on the top up here over the light. He says it's a spoiler, a little small spoiler go over that joint. Oh, you gonna put one on the trunk too? Yeah. Okay. Right, so they, they, uh, they did the, uh, 
dough panels and all this shit. So they did the whole, like the whole dough? Yeah, they did. Replace all dough, console, or a dash. I just gotta get the seats uh, cleaned up. That's it. Dang, boy, you in now. Goddamn brand new car. Y'all see it, man. If I ever, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of it, though. He tried to talk me into it last week. He showed me a nice one online, man. He told me to go and get rid of the, uh, the green one and get one of these. He's trying to talk me into it. I'll make a pull that trigger, man. <laughs> I'll make a pull that trigger, man. They show nice, bro. They, they show nice. But I'm going to come back and show y'all once he do everything else to it. All the upgrades he say he's going to do to it, man. I'm going to come back and we're going to do an update. But y'all drop down in the comments right now, man. Let me know what y'all think about the 22 that's on there now. Until next time, man. 78 Chevy Boy. Me and my boy Ridge, man. LX460. LX Another L dog, man. We out of here, man. Stay humble, stay prayed up, stay out the way. All right. My seven, my seven, my seven. I'm keeping it my seven, my seven, my seven. I'm passing in my seven, my seven, my seven. I'm riding in my seven.